Hey guys, Meet Reynolds, Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. My first stop is going to be where it is snowing now. This is Palisades Tahoe at 8,200 feet. You can see it is snowing and blowing there. So the snow levels have fallen. Today they're going to fluctuate somewhere between 8,000 feet and 8,500 feet at times. Obviously, uh, warmer air during the day probably pushes it to 8,500 feet. But tomorrow they may be even lower than this. So that's where we're going to see the biggest accumulation above those levels, above 8,000 to 8,500 feet. That's where we're going to see the big numbers accumulate. All right, what lies ahead? All right, here are my uh, bullet points as we approach Christmas and New Year's. That California precip continues today and tomorrow. Some good news, I've increased my Wasatch forecast totals. They're trending up. Um, and the timeline for the, the Wasatch is 12, late 1222 through about 1224. In Colorado, 1223, 1224. New Mexico, 1223 and 1224. What's going to happen is two pieces of energy are going to merge. Uh, and they may start to merge over Utah before the before they reach Wyoming and Colorado. That's why some of those totals have gone up. Um, that will improve the wind direction and some of the efficiency through the Wasatch. All right, let me show you what the uh, the water vapor satellite imagery looks like right now. And I'll identify the two pieces of energy. That's one, and the second one is back here. Let me mark the flow. So the subtropical jet is active. Um, the northern branch is up here bottling up all that cold air up here in Canada. That's why it is so warm. We're just getting blasted by warm air across the west right now. So this is low one. There's low number two. Low number one will take a southern track. Low number two will hit the Pacific Northwest and then dive through Utah, Wyoming, and into Colorado. And then the two will merge. The two pieces will merge somewhere between Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado, and then it will move through. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. So that's this afternoon. Here's tomorrow morning. Here's tomorrow afternoon, 1220. Notice that low in California starts to dive south. It's going to move through Arizona and then eventually into New Mexico. Here we are in 1222. There's to late in the, uh, late in the day. Here, now here's the magical mo the moment right here, 1223. You can see the southern track low moving into the four corners and also this northern low coming out of the Pacific Northwest. The two, again, watch what happens over Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Here's late in the day on 1223, 1224 in the morning, 1224 in the afternoon. So all of that energy slides across. The, the three biggest areas for snow are going to be now, it looks like the Wasatch, southern and southeast Wyoming, and Colorado. Those areas will see the biggest impact from the low as it develops and the rotating winds around it. All right, let me show you what uh, the forecast jet's going to look like here. You can see the dip on this is 1224 late in the day. The dip opens up the door somewhat to bring a little bit of cold air south. Not a lot, but a little. And that'll drop through Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado in northern New Mexico. You can see the trough sitting there. All right, really impressive jet pattern here as we approach 1228. Now, this could be the start of what's going to be even a more active period as we approach New Year's and into January. You can see that powerful Pacific jet, and it appears to be um, it appears to have northern branch support and southern branch support, so this would represent much colder air if this holds together and it moves in. A nice big trough of low pressure with cold air. As far as totals go, you know what, let me show you Christmas Eve on the forecast. There's 1224 again, and there is 1225. So you can see how the low progresses, and as far as totals go through that time period, We'll start here early, 1219, 1222. Not a lot happening here in California. Again, above 8,000, 8,500 feet. That's where you're going to see the heaviest accumulations. This is where it all happens right here. This is 1223 through 1228. About a foot for the Wasatch, about a foot up at Hogadon and down into the Snowy Range and Laramie Range of Wyoming. Um, the mountains of Colorado, anywhere from, say, 6 to 14 inches of accumulation possible. So those numbers have trended up as well, probably 4 to 8 down through northern New Mexico. And look at Whistler, Blackcomb, Baker, Rainier. You could see a foot or more up there during that time period. Now, the numbers for the northeast have gone up. But I'll tell you the big caveat here is that 99% of what you see falls on 1226 to 1228. So through most of the period, nothing happening. It's late in the period that we could see this snow accumulation. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this uh, morning weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.